It's a beautiful day and you know who loves you. Hope everybody's doing well. I've got another health tip for you because I'm crazy about you. I tell you that all the time, it's true. You're awesome. Even where you are, you're growing, but you're still awesome right there. Just know your love. So I'm gonna give you a really good healthy tip. This is a new trick that I've learned. It's fantastic. I get these from Mountain Rose Herbs. This is hibiscus. Hibiscus flowers, it's amazing. It's uh, got vitamin C, some antioxidants in it. But I make a tea out of this, and you don't have to even heat up the water. Uh, the first time I did it, I put it out in the sun, thinking you're a little sun tea. Well, you don't really even need to do that. You put this in water, and like 15, 20 minutes, the water just gets this unbelievable emerald red, just vibrant in life and, uh, and love. Um, so yeah, you want organic, you can get organic hibiscus flowers. Uh, Mountain Rose Herbs is a great company and it's pretty reasonable. This is a three pound bag. You just take a pinch of this and the first time I put a lot in it, but you don't need to do that and it was just red, red. So I go, wonder if I can make it still red with less. So I did less, just red, red. So it doesn't take a lot. And I don't, I don't measure anything, you know, I just go by eye, but I just, I just grab like this much just grab a handful of this and put this in the water and bam right now you can already see color starting to come down I'm gonna put the camera there and let you see that there's the leaves right there look at that color coming down woo baby bam and that's what you do that took about 20 minutes to get that red last night I left it um, I left it in overnight and uh, was really red when I got up this morning. But we all need to drink more water. Water is what we're made of. Um, we're wateritarians. I heard Dr. Castor say that, and it's really true. Water is a delivery system. It delivers oxygen to all your trillion cells and takes away waste. You want to lose weight, start drinking more water. Flushes out your system. Um, vitamin C. Vitamin C is off the hook. You know what vitamin C does? Vitamin C makes collagen. Now, I know you know what collagen is, especially your girls, lips. Um, but more importantly than that, all of the linings of your uh, blood veins are, are made up of collagen. So it gives you elasticity in your veins. So it really drops the chances of heart attacks, aneurysms, strokes, all those good things. So this year, let's work on drinking right drinking more water and this is a great way to drink water it tastes awesome so what I do to finish this off is I pour that through a strainer and get the lead, the flowers out and then I uh, pour it into a bottle like this so I can have it put it in my backpack or just you know have it at home and then I put a couple drops of stevie in it and it makes it uh, makes it like Kool-Aid for kids great trick to get kids to drink water but I know one of my friends wives doesn't like to drink water she doesn't like the taste of water she likes this taste of water. So this is hibiscus water. And I put some chia seeds in there and you shake it up and let the chia seeds soak for a half hour or whatever. And you drink this and just kind of chew the chia seeds and it's phenomenal protein, minerals, uh, vitamin C, hydration. This is one of the best things you could do. Drink this for a couple weeks and just see if you don't feel like a million dollars because you are worth a million dollars. And the last thing I want to tell you about is thinking right. So let's drink right and let's think right. This guy, John Lynch, I really love this guy. I haven't met him, but a friend of mine gave me a DVD. And this is just a little clip of his video. And it's about um, God and love. It's going to really encourage you. Love you very much. See you next time. What if I tell them who they are? What if I take away any element of fear and condemnation or judgment or rejection? What if I tell them that I love them and that I will always love them and that I can't love them anymore and I love them right now and that I love them right now no matter what they've done as much as I love my only son? That there's nothing they can do to make my love go away. What if I told them there are no lists? What if I told them that they were righteous with my righteousness right now? What if I told them they could stop beating themselves up, that they could stop being so formal and stiff and weird and jumpy around me? What if I told them I was absolutely crazy about them? What if I told them that even if they ran to the ends of the earth and did the most unthinkable, horrible things and were unfaithful in their marriage, when they came back, I'd receive them with tears and a pardon? What if I told
told them I do not keep a log of past offenses of how little they pray, how often they've let me down or made promises that they don't keep? What if I told them they don't have to be owned by men's religious additions or traditions? What if I told them if I'm their savior, they're going to heaven no matter what, it's a done deal? What if I told them they have a new nature, saints, not saved sinners who should all buck up and be better if they were any kind of Christian that's all I got for you? What if I told them that I actually live in them now, that I put my love and power and nature inside them at their disposal? What if I told them they don't have to put on a mask at any time? That it is absolutely okay to be exactly who they are at this moment with all their junk and not have to pretend about how close we are, how much they pray or don't, how much they Bible they read or don't? And what if they knew that they think they don't have to look over their shoulder for fear if, they, if things get too good, the other shoe's gonna drop? What if they knew that I will never, ever, ever ever use the word punish in relation to them? What if they knew when they mess up I never get back at them? What if they were convinced that bad circumstances are never my way of evening the score for taking advantage of me? What if they knew the basis of our friendship was not on how little they sin, but on how much they let me love them? What if they had permission to stop trying to impress me in any way? What if I told them they could hurt my heart, but I'd try to never hurt theirs? What if I told them that I kind of like Eric Clapton's music too? That the these and the thous have always bugged me. What if I told them I never really liked the Christmas handbill deal with a white glove? What if I told them that they could open their eyes when they pray and still go to heaven? What if I told them there was no secret agenda, no trap door? What if I told them it wasn't about their self ever, but allowing me to live my life through them? That's the New Testament gamble.